Hey everyone, uh, just a video on my configuration for playing music and audio and stuff like that. Uh, a couple people have asked me about this, I guess it's worth going over. Um, so I use Music Player Daemon as a Music Player Daemon, as its name suggests. Um, so for those of you who don't know, MPD is just a backend, so it's a system, it's a little server in the back that, you know, plays music and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty sweet. Um, in order to actually interface with it, you do need another music player. Uh, so it sort of comes in pieces and you assemble it the way you like, but it's pretty simple. Um, so the music player I have is actually right here. This is, um, oh Christ, I always forget. Okay, it's NCMPCPP. Let me write that down actually. So actually, so if you want to go ahead and install all this, right? So, you know, whatever distro you have, I'll just assume you have Arch. Uh, you want MPD. You want NCP in, uh, oh Christ. It stands for In Curses Music Player Client Plus uh, Plus. And another thing you're probably gonna want is MPC. Uh, MPC is just uh, like terminal commands for accessing MPD. So I have a bunch of keyboard bindings that use MPC com commands to do stuff like, you know, go forward in a song or something like that. So if I'm on another screen, I can press, you know, my shortcuts and now I've gone forward a song or something like that. Um, so anyway, that's what MPC is for. So you just install this, and um, if you want my configurations, I'll go ahead and put those up. Haven't even talked about the programs yet, but I'll go ahead and tell you how to set them up. Um, you can of course go to my GitHub um, in my Void Rice repository. I think you'll need uh, this folder, and then in the config folder, you want the MPD folder, um, and that should be it. Um, anyway, so let's talk about this program, why I use it, stuff like that. So again, MPD is just a daemon by itself. Um, so let's actually open this up, open up the config folder. Um, how it works is you just give it a music folder. It can be whatever you want, and it's going to go through those, uh, organize them. It's not going to tag them, but it's going to take the tag, take the metadata, and integrate it into its library. So you can access it easily from a player, like in PC, in in whatever it is or anything else um, uh, so you gotta have all this um, I think you might have to have this uh, little section here or maybe this one up here I don't know uh, I, I know I had to put these in when I had I was using Ulsa you might still need them on Pulse Audio I just go ahead and copy it if I were you but whatever um, so check that out but once MPD is running you just get it to start up um, with when your system starts up and you know you don't have to worry about it Anyway, so the music, the actual music player, again, in curses music player client plus uh, plus, still a mouthful. Uh, let me open up. Well, let me show you what it does first. You want to see that? Um, so this is nice because it actually comes with a lot of screens. So this is the main media library view. So I have it organized by album artists. You can change it to something else if you want. Um, but uh, this is only one of the views you have. So you have, if you press one, you have the playlist. Press two, you have. Um, the actual folder folder structure, how your directory actually looks, if you want to look by folder structure. Uh, three is a search engine, uh, four is the media library or whatever. Playlist editor, tag editor. Um, the tag editor, I didn't think I'd actually use this thing, but uh, it has been a lifesaver. Um, there's so much it can do, there's so much that um, it's very easy for like changing songs and mass, like tags, and it can automatically number tracks, stuff like that. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, and I will say there are some things I know that this player can do that I haven't integrated yet. So if you use like Last.fm or Libre.fm, uh, it interfaces pretty cleanly with those. I haven't used it myself, but you know, if you're the kind of person who does, it's out there. And I think it, it can actually grab metadata from Last.fm and stuff like that. Um, but again, I haven't done it yet. Um, so you also have Music Visualizer, and you can change it with space. Uh, it's loading a little slowly because I have a Corlet computer, but you know, whatever. I'm on my X200 right now, and you know, it's not, it usually runs fine, but when, whenever I'm screencasting, you know, it just doesn't look good. Uh, and you also have a clock if you pl press plus uh, by default. And of course, you can have multiple instances of this running at, a, at the same time, so you can have, you know, you know, music visualizer in one, clock in one, something like that. Uh, so that's no problem. There, are, I've used a couple of music players where you like you can only have one instance, which sort of annoys me, um, but whatever. Um, but this thing is just pretty sweet. And of course, MPD is the actual back end, so it's not interfering with anything. Um, let me show you my configs for this. I've made a couple 
changes to them. Uh, in terms of bindings, you probably guess. Um, I've added in Vim bindings for everything, so like, um, you know, HJKL, stuff like that. Um, I do, I always forget like the numbers you press to get to the different screens, so I've just like added my own numbers, so like T for tag editor, V for visualizer, M for, you know, the me media player view or whatever. And again, I've just added all these shortcuts in there, and that's pretty much all I have here, and I've changed a couple of them, you know, that I have to move around. Aside from that, it's pretty simple. Um, you also have the actual config of this, where you can change how it looks. Um, I've really just made superficial kind of color changes here, or something like that. I might have changed something uh, more substantial, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I'll go ahead and say, I'm trying to remember where they are, I think they're user share doc yeah so if you want to find the defaults they are in user share doc in c etc etc um, and these are all very good very well documented you can see out here like um, you know so they give you pretty much all the different options you can use and how to play around with them so this program and this is true I think of well it's true of MPD as well um, like all of them are very well documented. You can just check them offline or something if you want and toy around with them. That's pretty much what I did to get the configuration that I got. Um, but all in all, it's it's pretty sweet. You, there's a whole lot that I haven't even done with this that a lot of people have done. So feel free to throw whatever recommendations you have in the comment section. Um, in terms of things that I haven't worked out or I don't know how to do yet, uh, maybe it's just because of my own oversight, there is one thing. I used to use Music on Console Player, which is very good, um, but there is one thing that that has that this doesn't, at least that I don't know that it has or something like that. And that is, notice that the music player, like the media library, you have three panes, and this is actually pretty nice because you can, you, well, you can switch between two plane, panes or whatever. Um, but yeah, having three panes is very nice for seeing the kind of music that's around. Uh, but when you switch to the directory mode uh, and you're looking at the actual folder structure, you don't have that. And I'd really like to be able to see into these folders. Um, so I don't know, I've looked around for a way to do that. I couldn't necessarily find it. It'd be nice to have that just because I'm the kind of, I have a bunch of like um, compilation CDs and stuff like that, or like things that have different album artists, but I still want in lo one logical folder. Um, so I'd sort of prefer to look at directory structure, um, but Album Artist actually looks works pretty much fine for me. Um, but aside from that, this is, uh, yeah, this thing is basically the best music player I've used. Uh, it does a whole lot. Uh, it's pretty light on uh, system resources. And again, MPD um, as a backend is fantastic for a lot of reasons. Again, I can, you know, use keyboard shortcuts that I've added to i3 to change it. Um, I also have my main desktop is in my main room now, and I can actually just SSH into that and like tell what tell MPD what to do, tell it what songs to play at a distance if I'm like literally too lazy to get up and control it manually. Um, so that's a nice thing as well. Um, but anyway, uh, that's about it for the for that. If you have any recommendations for this client, I've only been using it like a couple months, so feel free to throw them in the uh, comments section um, or any questions. Again, configs on my GitHub. Uh, see you guys next.